We have been constantly striving to come out with better benefits, more incentives for the industry to come to Maharashtra. Of course, we have our own selfish interest in it, but we are quite frank in admitting it that we need the investment and that's why we are here. And thank you for being here with us today. In 2011, Maharashtra came out with a new textile policy. As you know, Maharashtra is the second largest cotton grower in the country. And I got some figures here. You can see how the, I'm talking of cotton to begin with because that is the main fiber which kind of is predominant in our textile industry. Maharashtra, as you can see, can produces almost 20, how much? Turn it into yarn, turn it into fabric. If you look in India still, about 20% of the cotton which we produce, we are not processing it, we are exporting it. So that is that 20% cotton exported is actually, in a way, is a big opportunity lost for, for value addition, which would lead to greater employment, better income in the country. And if you look at the figures of Maharashtra, against a production of 88, almost 88 million bales of cotton, we are processing just about 25% of it. 75% of the cotton produced in Maharashtra goes out of the state to be processed. First of all, it is not good for the state to lose the opportunity to add value, add to its industrial produce. Secondly, it is also not good because there is loss of efficiency when the cotton which is produced in an area goes out to another area. Cotton produced in the western coastal state of Maharashtra goes to Tamil Nadu for processing. So there is a lot of economic inefficiency, which by this policy we want, it will be a national gain if we can process as much cotton as is produced in Maharashtra. And with this objective, the government has come out with a policy. We expect to attract investments of about 40,000 crores between the period 2011 to 2017 and create some 11 lakh jobs. How we propose to do that, we, I will share it with you this morning. So let us go to the next one. This is our new textile policy. It says we are aiming at 40,000 crores of investment in the textile sector and 11 lakh new jobs. Now this policy of Mahar, which we have announced in order to keep it simple, we have not come out with another set of criteria for qualification for benefits in the state. We have linked to the TUF scheme, the Technology, Technology Upgradation Fund scheme of the central government, which is well known, uniform throughout the country. So the investor or the industrialist need not do another set of guidelines for compliance. It is the same compliance. Once you have got the qualified under the TUF schemes of Government of India, you automatically qualify to be a beneficiary in our new textile policy of the state.